Hi Queens, we are here outside of the Grease Pole. It is 9 a.m. and the engineers are going to attack the pole very, very soon. Let's see if they can break last year's record. Steve, who are side 07, so how do you guys feel this morning? A little old, old. Uh, washed up. Got up at like 5 this morning to drink, and Jesus Christ, it was hard. <laughs> Keep the tradition alive, right? Keep it alive, yeah. All right, guys, you need a larger, stronger base with even pushing on all sides before anyone is going up to the second level. And Lee, how do you feel? I feel wet and cold, actually. The water in there is dirty, disgusting. It's actually not that bad. It's not the water itself is not that cold, but when you get out, the wind, the wind really gets you. Yeah, Bim, send it. Second level, keep holding together, guys. This event, this is the 51st reasonable climb, so it's been going on for quite some time. And uh, it first started, yes, it was quite different than the current form it is. Like it used to have axle grease, you can now use lanolin, which is better. It's not as hazardous or dangerous too much. Um, and then the water was added as a pit, a little more safer. Um, no projectiles, that used to be done up until about mid 80s. So things have really changed for the better with respect to Greaseball, and it's not anything I want to see disappearing. Do you think uh, they're like a good bunch? They're going to break last year's record? Last year's record, I think it was like an hour and 40. I think they can do it. So it's 11.30 and after two hours, the class of 2011 were able to get the TAM. It was a frost who got the TAM and I'm sure he's feeling really proud right now. Um, there's been no major injuries today, lots of music, lots of alum, everyone had a really good time and everything ran smoothly. Thanks for watching.